Welcome to VXD Services. In this video, I would like to show you more about the Samsung ePaper, the EMDX model. Now, this is a 32 inch, which was recently released at the ISE in Barcelona. And in this video, I would like to show you more on how to connect it and how to control it within your VXD platform. So at the top, you can see two QR codes for scanning the application for your mobile device that you would like to control it with. At the bottom, we have another QR code in order to pair it, along with the six digit pairing code that we're used to with VXD. Now I've already installed the Samsung ePaper application on this tablet. So if I open the application, you can see a pop-up already appears. Hey, I found a new device, would you like to connect this? So I will then click on add device. It will ask me to connect. And then I can fill in the pairing code. Now the pairing code is 915915. Then it will ask me to connect to a network. So I will select my network right here and fill in my Wi-Fi password. So I've hit on connect. So now my network connection will be established and the tablet is sending out the network command to the Samsung ePaper. It will ask me to agree on the privacy agreement, of course, which I agree to. And there we go. So now my device is registered. Um, next up, I have three types of installation uh, types that I can select. The first one is a manual setup, the second one is uh, setting presets, and the third one is the VXT server. Now I will select the VXT server right here. So with this, my device will make a connection to the VXT server that I have access to. Now you can use your CMS plans for this. So you can use your CMS S that's supported, and CMSP will, can also be supported for your ePaper. So once I've hit the uh, VXT setup, it will ask me to sign in with my VXD account, which I will do right now. You can see that the display is already refreshing, meaning that the initial connection has been established. So now it will show the VXD uh, screensaver, and that's actually the proof of the confirmation and also the confirmation that the device is now ready to receive content. So right now the connection has been established to the server, as you can see, and it will show the real live uh, pairing code, full screen, as you're used to with your Samsung displays as well. So this is then the connection code and the pairing code that I can use on my um, computer. So if I move to my computer, I can then uh, fill in this pairing code in order for my display to be seen in VXD itself. So if I go to my computer right here and click on add screen, I will fill in the pairing code and I can click on pair now. So by clicking on pair now, the connection will be made from the server to your display. Now, as you can see, the display is now connected already into the VXD. So simply by using the pairing code, that's all you need in order to connect your display to VXD. So at the top left, I can see the name or I can also edit it in case I want to. Now I will change this to Samsung ePaper. That's it. And by clicking next to it, next to it the naming convention will be saved as well. Now you can see that the display is now refreshing because it's made for uh, showing static content, of course. That's why all different layers will be reset now and it will be shown the VXD screensaver as you are used to because when the displays are waiting for content, they will show the screensaver as well. Now going back into the VXD software, then go into the content section on the left hand side. You can see that I already uploaded an image which I wanted to show and publish to my device here. So there are multiple ways of doing it in VXD itself. And the quickest way is right here from content. I can then set it to my screens. So this way I do not need to create a playlist and I do not need to create a schedule. So this is the quick, quickest way of doing this, doing this. So I will click set to screen. And I can right here select my e-paper in order to make uh, my content visible on my display. Now within VXD you also see some uh, tags of course, as you can see right here. So the tag right here is content, connected and ePaper. So if I select my ePaper and hit publish, what now will happen is that my uh, VXD account will send the content to the Samsung ePaper over my network and the ePaper will receive the information any minute for the content and by doing so it will then uh, refresh itself again so the different layers will shuffle 
in order to show the content that I've set to it. And as you can see right now, it's loading layer by layer in order to publish the content that was supposed to be sent to my display. Now this will take a few seconds because the e-paper is of course made to show static content. So it's ideal for hanging um, in front of your window for example, but it also can be placed into sockets next to cars for example if you have a dealership in order to show the details, specifications of your cars, the price list, the options list and so on. So by now a few seconds have passed and you can see that the content is now live. Um, this is the content that I've created for it as well. So it shows you the VXD content on my e-paper, a uh, little YouTube link right here at the bottom. Um, so this is the simple procedure on how to connect your e-paper to VXD and how to send content to it. Now if we dive more into VXD itself, of course it's really curious and interesting to see what other options are supported. Just to highlight a few, you can here see that my e-paper is still connected which is of course really convenient to know because it runs over Wi-Fi all the time. So this way you are sure that the e-paper is still connected. So if we go back to the screen section right here, you can see that the Samsung e-paper is showing content. So we will take a snapshot every now and then in order to give back to the server the content that is playing. So this is then the content that I scheduled, which is also visible again in VXD. So it shows me the content and the connection status, which is really convenient as well. So right here is the screen overview in case you have more displays for example or other e-papers connected as well. Um, you can see them right here. The uh, battery status or the percentage of your battery will also be uh, included into VXD as well. So you can retrieve that. Furthermore for your content section, um, if you want to create new content in your uh, VXD canvas, this is also possible. Now in this case I would change it to portrait of course. So this way I can make use of any um, already existing templates that I have and if I save this for example I can also push this to my display uh, template I can save this file and if I then go to my content section again there you go you can see it already and I can click on set to screen I can select my e-paper and I can hit publish. So now, um, the same as the previous time, the display will receive the content again from the server. And in order to do that, it will take a few seconds. And by doing so, the layers will be refreshed again because the display is ideally for just um, showing static content as long as possible, of course. Now, Samsung claims that the battery life of the e-paper is lasting for around a year with one content change per day. So in case you are take, keeping that into mind, the battery life is actually pretty good. And then you can just plug and play the power socket as your phone charger to your e-paper and it will be charged within a few hours as well. So this is how quickly you can see that the content will change. So it will now reset itself again. The layers are refreshing. And after a few seconds and a few blinks, it's fully back to showing the menu that I quickly designed or used actually from a VXD canvas. Now this is how the uh, connecting part works for the Samsung e-paper into VXD and the application. Now it's a really cool feature and a really cool well, display, so to say. It's also really thin as you can see, so there is nothing much really uh, needed in order to control it. This is all that you have. Now it's ideally for hanging at the ceiling as we have right now for example or placing in front of a window. Now in case you have more questions about VXT or the Samsung e-paper and how to connect it for example, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help and think along with your digital science project. Thanks for watching.